Good morning, everyone. Uh, we will continue with the development as we discussed in the last lecture. Development is a very vast topic. Uh, rather, this is a, a subject in itself. So we will touch upon main points of the development. And uh, moreover, this is a very interesting topic. How the baby grow, how the baby develop, how he develops social skills. This is an interesting thing. And if you uh, take a keen interest, then it will be very easy. Otherwise, very confusing. Okay, let's start. Personal and social development and general understanding. Uh, now we are talking about personal and social development. First we had a gross motor and fine motor. Now we are doing for social development. At one month, the child intensely watched his mother when he talks to him. By six to eight weeks of age, he starts smiling back when anyone talks to him. That is social smile. Few times, baby may smile without any reason before the age of even six weeks. But that is not social smile. Social smile is when you talk to baby, and he smiles. That is social smile. And uh, it is a very important uh, milestone which is to be remembered. Uh, by three months of age, child looks around and recognizes his mother. So by six months of age, he vocalizes and smiles at the mirror and uh, imitate the acts like palm protrusion. Okay. By six to seven months, he recognizes strangers and shows stranger anxiety. This is an also very important milestone. Like social smile, stranger anxiety is important. We need to see if the baby's age is six or seven months. He is comfortable with single age showing anxiety or not. By nine months, he can wave bye bye. By one year, he can understand simple questions. He comes up when called. He will come and he will play simple ball. At 15 months, he points to the object in which he is interested. So, this point, pointing to the object, is also very important. You should remember this milestone. Then, 18 months, he copies the parent in task. Sweeping like and uh, by two years, when he asked, he can point to five to six familiar objects, point to two, three to four body parts, and he can ask for food, drink, and party. Now, as for body part is concerned, we need to tell the baby, we need to teach the baby body parts, only then he will be able to tell by two years. So, training is important. By three years, he begins to count and uh, he can sing simple rhymes. He can share toys and knows his full name and gender. This is important. By three years, baby name, baby can baby know his name or gender. And uh, by four years, left and right discrimination well. By five years, he can identify four colors and repeat four digits. So in this, I will say, Stranger anxiety, bye bye, and then this uh, he knows his full name by three years. These are important milestones. This is the picture at one month, baby is showing intent regard of his mother's face as she talks to him. And this is social smile by six to eight. This is important milestone. And the parents usually remember. When baby first smile, and uh, whenever we are taking development history, we should ask for social smile. Child looks smiles at the, himself in the mirror at six months of age. That was six weeks. Now six months. Now language. Now we are coming to another aspect of uh, social uh, development of the baby. That is language. At uh, one month, he is alert to sound. Six to eight weeks, social smile vocalizes. Three months, who he coos like ah, blah, blah, blah. not a uh, these are sounds which have no 
mini. At four months, the law allowed. By six months, bad up our monos levels, the we can pronounce. By nine months, we should say mama, baba, dada, papa, we can say. And by 12 months, his dictionary is only one to two words, vocabulary dictionary, with me. By 18, it grows four times or five times, eight to 10. And uh, by the end of second year, they can form a sentence with two to three words, which uh, use the pronoun I, me, you, man, you, to see. By three years, we can ask questions. He knows his name and gender, we already discussed. By four years, he can sing songs for you, poems and stories. And by five years, he asks about the meaning of it. So, quite an interesting list, which we can remember if we intently don't know what the baby will do at what age. Now we come to vision. Adequate sensory inputs are essential for development. At birth, baby can fixate and follow a moving person and follow a dangling ring up to 45 years. At one month, baby can fixate on his mother as she talks to him and can follow ring up to 90 degrees. Now he can follow up to 90 degrees, but when he talks to mother, he can fixate his eye on the baby. At three, four months, he can fixate intently on an object shown to him. And now the range is 180 degrees. At birth, 45 degrees, then 90 degrees, then 180 degrees. Binocular vision start at six weeks and it is established at four months. So before that, baby is only seen monocular. By six months, he can adjust his position to follow the objects of interest. He can follow rapidly moving object by one year. So in this case, at fixation of the mother, fixation of the baby to the mother's face at one month is an important milestone. Binocular vision is an important milestone. Uh, that is fixation of the, he is looking at the mother at the age of one year, one month. He is grasped with an eye at three months. He is intently watching the object. Now we come to next, that is hearing. Newborn, uh, we usually say newborns are in uh, another agreement that you do that. But even the sounds of various gadgets which we are, we are using in the big pool, they have a profound effect on the hearing and the mental development of the newborn baby which are admitted to NICU. So now this is a very important research topic. How much sound is good for baby? So newborn responds to sound by startle, blink, cry, or change in equipment. Okay. At three, four months, he can turn his head towards the source of sound. So he can make a usual guess about, a reasonable guess from where the sound is coming at three to four months. In five to six months, he turns his head downward if sound is made below the level of three. So that is important. At three four months, he can only move head towards the source of sound. But if the head source of sound is below the level of the ears, he will turn his head downward. At seven months, he can localize the sound made above the level. First sideways, then downwards, then upward. At ten months, Child directly looks at the source of the sound, diagonal. Diagonal localization of the source of sound at 10 months. Now development assessment. Now we have uh, seen, we have uh, read, we have been taught about the various milestones. Now what is the use of this? Development assessment is an important tool to identify the various neurodevelopment disorders which we can diagnose at an early age. Uh, if uh, we look at autism, autism is usually diagnosed at three to four year age. Very few patients are diagnosed below two year age. But 
the if we see the outcome is entirely different if we diagnose baby at earlier age. So development assessment is an important tool and it is a very important uh, part of the general physical examination. Development delay is estimated to be present at about 10% of the children. Severe forms can be identified easily. But the main thing, when the development delay is not severe, speech impairment, hyperactivity, emotional disturbance cannot be diagnosed till the child is three to four years old. Learning disorder cannot be identified till the child starts schooling. So role of early evaluation is very important. Prerequisite. It should be assessed in a place of free of destruction. We don't want anybody around. Child should not be hungry, he should be not ill, he should not be tired or irritated. Otherwise, he will not operate. It should be assessed when the child is playful with mother around. Adequate time should be spent in making child and family comfortable. What are the equipment we require? That is red ring, nine red cubes, paper pallets, spoon, cup with the handle, book with the thick edges, picture book, red pencil, paper, door and mirror. So you can see, I don't think so many of uh, our postgraduate student carry so much of uh, equipment being inside the people. So we should be careful what the equipment we need for development assessment. Step of assessment, first is history, then physical assessment, then development assessment, then interpretation of the research. History. Well taking history will help in determining the details of probable risk factor of the development, the variation of rate of acquisition of skills and differentiating between delay and regression. So delay is when baby didn't achieve an milestone. Regression is when baby achieved a milestone, but then went back to the previous month. So like if a child has learned to crawl, mother was saying that he used to crawl, but a little bit later, he is only sitting. So that is regression of months. Plenty of diseases are there where regression of months is true. Then forming the impression about development age of the child. That is important. What is the chronological age of the baby and the development age of the baby, that will tell us about the IQ. Examination, we should assess physical growth and neck circumference, physical assessment for dysmorphism, stigmata for intrauterine infections, hypothyroidism, the median and hearing screening, neurological examination, reptile reflexes. Developmental assessment, we will assess the vision and hearing at least so that further observation is not confounded due to lack of stimuli. Yes. Then we will assess the vocal responses because in this case, when we are assessing the vision and hearing or assessing the vocal responses, we are not disturbing the baby much. So that should be done first. Then we will go for fine motor skills. Most annoying maneuvers like eliciting of reflexes, at circumstances, ventral suspension, pull to sit are done last because these can irritate the baby. So we will leave it to the last. Do developmental assessment before systemic assessment. Okay. Find out DQ. DQ is developmental quotient. Observe age at attainment over average age at attainment into 100 is the mental quotient. DQ, if it is less than 70%, then we take it as a delay and we want detailed evaluation. Detailed evaluation, various scales are there, classic scales are like those things, which are to be used for detailed assessment. Interpretation. In preterm baby, corrected age should be used rather than post-interval age. Now, if we a baby of 32 week gestation seen at 12 weeks, it should be considered as 4 weeks for assessment of growth time because baby was 8 weeks premature. We can't compare this baby with a 
T month is normal baby. So this baby will be only one month old. Wide variation normality should be kept in mind. This is not like that if we say the baby starts sitting at age of seven to eight months. It is not a, a compartmentalized thing. Normality variations are immense. So we should uh, be very careful before giving any decision or before making any judgment about the development of the baby. Also keep in mind, retardation should not be diagnosed and suggested on single picture. We need to see average, not on which are retarded, retarded. This is a very important and serious diagnosis and we should not rush it on. Repeat examination should be done in a child who does not have a loss delay. It should be done. It should not be, it should be done in a child who doesn't have a loss. Okay. Recent illness, malnutrition and emotional deprivation should be kept in mind. Okay, that is important. If the baby is having a fever, he is uh, malnourished, so we don't expect that he will be neurologically very active. Dissociation, significant variation in attainment of milestone in individual field may signify other physical disorders. Now, what are the red flag signs of childhood? These are the signs which, when we see a patient in OPD and uh, we uh, look for these signs. If they are not, they are present. Baby has not achieved these milestones. Then we must be careful. Like uh, first is no visual fixation or falling by two months. No vocalization by six months. No sitting without support by nine to ten months. We are not saying seven to eight months. Nine to ten months. So there is wide variation. Baby is not standing alone at about. So, 16 months of age is not walking alone by one half year of age. No single word is there by the age of 18 months. Lack of imaginative play at three years. These are the red flag signs which we should remember. Loss of comprehension, single words or phrases at any age. Well, mental screening, it is a brief assessment procedure designed to identify children who should receive more intensive diagnosis or assessment. AIDS early intervention, identification of comorbid development disabilities. Ideally, all children should be periodically screened. If that is not possible, at least those with perinatal disability should be screened. But I will say, we should, all children should be periodically screened. Advantages of screening. Standardized with norms, more accurate, reinforce importance of development to the caregiver. That is mother, father, they should know what is the importance of this development. We need to tell them this is this can give us very early clue about any neurodevelopment uh, disorder. This there is an efficient way to record the observation. They help us identify more children with delay. Limitation of screening. We need a trainer, requires training by an assessor. Relying on screening test alone is not okay. Using screening test as a diagnostic tool is not okay. Not following the screening test with further evaluation and intervention can be done. So, follow up is a must. Common screening tools are there like FATEX, FATEX, Barbaroda screening test. Denever development screening test, Trivandrum development screening test in normal use, CAT CLAMP clinical adaptive test, or clinical, linguistic, and auditory milestone scale. These are the important screening tool with Gordon, Gordon Oak, Harris Draw Mind test. Okay. Definite tests are yeah, like I already told you, DASI. Then Vinylet Adaptive Behavior Skills, Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children 4, Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale, and Bailey Scale of Infant Development Part. So these are definite tests which are for advanced development assessment. Early stimulation, infant who, sh who shows a sign of early development delay, need to be provided opportunities that promote the body control 
acquisition of motor skills, language development, and psychosocial maturity. And we should make an additional effort to make the child walk, sit, in the toys, playing, speaking to child, and encouraging to speak. Purani Yamani says, Dadiya Nanya Bachya Nanya Ganna Karma Sanjay Sanjay. Initially, that was used to be a MEN. But now, research has shown that this is very important. And this makes a great difference to the development of the children. Bachya Nanya Ganna Karma, Bachya Nanya Sunana. This is not like Samaj Nanya Da Karma. This is of great intelligence. Effective parenting has an important impact on uh, emotional, social, and development. Later occurrence of mental diseases, education failure, and criminal behavior. So, effective parenting is parenting is very important. Television viewing and development. Television viewing is an entirely different topic. I'm covering in one to two slides, but this is a very vast topic. Television viewing in younger children has been shown to be hard language development. It compares the child's ability to learn and read and also limit creativity. Violence and sexuality has a negative impact on child. Regulate, we should, we should regulate the time of uh, television viewing. One to two hours per day, but I don't think so. Anybody is following the hours. Now we will briefly talk about autism spectrum disorder. Children with autistic disorder show severe and pervasive impairment in reciprocal and social interactions and communication and exhibit stereotype behavior. They have restricted interest and activities. To meet this full criteria of diagnosis, child must demonstrate the following symptoms. We should remember these three things. Baby having qualitative impairment in social interaction, then qualitative impairment in communication, delay or total lack of spoken language, restricted repetitive and stereotype behavior in perspective. What does it mean? It means, if the child is not communication, not a child, is not a child, is not a ताड़ियां मार रहा है ताड़ियां मारी जा रहा है जो स्कूल साइटों को कोई अपना अलमीरा खोल रहा है और खोली जा रहा है बंद करी जा रही है खोली जा रही है बंद करी जा रही है सो स्टीरोटाइप बिहेवियर इस दिया रेपिटेटिव रिस्ट्रिक्शन इस दिया तो दीज आर द साइंस मस्ट हैव फीचर ऑफ ऑटिज्म इट वाज Pervasive developmental disorder. Now these are all combined and they are under autism spectrum disorder. Diagnose DSM 5 criteria, persistent impairment in reciprocal social communication and interaction. Okay. Restricted repetitive pattern of behavior and trust manifested as repetitive movements, like repetitive use of objects, repetitive speech, ukulele. Must be present in early development. Must cause significant impairment in social occupational function. All these features are not explained by any other disease like global developmental delay or intellectual disability. Associated factors with autism are language impairment, intellectual impairment, motor deficit, epilepsy, anxiety, depression, and depression. Etiology. Etiology. Male are more effective. Genetic factor, closer spacing of pregnancy, advanced maternal paternal age, twins and preterm birth, basic neurological limbic system involved, increase in brain size, aberration in white matter development, increased serotonin in the doubtful role of MMR and thiomersal preservatives. Uh, this is uh, not a Establishment. Neuropathological factors are at birth very small head circumference, but after two months of age, head circumference increases, leading to increase in size of cerebellum, cerebrum, amygdala, or limbic system. Apart from normal screening of children, specific screening for autism should be done at 18 and 24 months of age. 
screening tolerance rule is MCHAT, which is modified checklist for autism in toddlers. It is used in diagnosis of autism. Management, it is very important. Psychological, psychosocial intervention, behavioral therapy, applied behavioral analysis, individualized education plan is important for these kids. Pharmacotherapy is not very useful, but still, under certain diseases, we use rice peridol, bisperidol, aripiprazole, intranosal, oxygen. So that's prognosis. Factors associated with battery prognosis are early diagnosis, intensive behavioral therapy, higher intelligence level, and presence of functional speech. Okay? Children with better prognosis factor may grow up to be self sufficient and employed. So, so they will be socially isolated. On the other hand, those with poor prognosis remain dependent on family. I think that's all. It was quite an extensive lecture. I hope you will. Uh, find this lecture very useful because this is an important topic, both point of view of uh, the practical and exam. Thank you.